Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is Avia Columbus. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are just going to show some tech tips on this. We are going to learn how to check a uh, placement, PC placement, and then so on this particular distance, we are going, we are just going to learn how to check the PC placement. We get that. So let's just go to our browser. So first of all, there is my one, there is my YouTube channel, and I wish every one of you to subscribe before watching this particular video and i'm going to show you more of uh, tech tips in this particular distance i have photography tips in my youtube channel i have retouching uh, tutorials too and i have tech tips too which is here and then i have microsoft word tutorials too and then a whole lot of them is the photoshop everything is there so you have to subscribe to my youtube channel before we go to that first of all what we need to do is to go to the placement checker portal that is yes and then we are just going to say placement just anytime you type placement in the google chrome or any distance you'll see that that thing will come placement portal so you click on that so when you click on that you you wait for it to appear and that is what the that is the portal for the placement checking that cssps homepage and then you can see something over here too which is what placement checker so what we need to do is to just click on that so that is the placement checker and you will see that is the the, 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 the the landing page for that particular placement checker so first of all what you need to do over here is to enter the the index number and then here you put the uh, what is the name the e voucher and over here you put what you put the pin so you have to buy the pin you can buy the pin from post office any post office around the country and then you can also get it from the different vendors those uh, those approved vendors you can buy from them online too you can buy it from money click and you can also buy it from salespins.com all of them you can just get everything you can just get everything from there and then it will be nice for you so what i need to do over here is that i am, I am just going to use someone own so to use someone own, what i need to do over here is that i'm just going to type in the uh the what is the name the index number which is uh 8 8 that's it the next thing you have to do is to add a year that you that particular year that you want to the, the that person the other student wrote that particular bc exam so this is 2022 because 2023 they have not yet uh, uh, go through that one so by 2022 that one is available so you add 22 2022 to that we just add 22 to that so if it is maybe next year that you have to check that you have to add 2023 you get that yes and then after that one you have something like this over here the next thing that you have to do is to put in the the code here the e voucher code that you buy from post office or any of them and the next thing you have to do is to put this one too over here and that ends the problem so let's just put in this code over here and then we'll put the pin code over here just like that however what we need to do over here is that i have i have the code in my desktop just like that and then i'm just going to copy the code over here which is this and then i'm just going to paste it over here just like that and the next thing i'm going to do is to copy the pin which is that and i'm just going to copy that one too and i'm just going to put it over here so first of all put the index number here and add two two to it that's the year the person wrote the bc results and over here the e voucher code the e voucher code the code that you bought from post office or any vendor you put the first in that e voucher code that the serial code over there and then over here you put the pin the pin to is that is there is five tickets then you put that one too then after that what all what you need to do is to click proceed then when you click proceed where you have to stop you have to follow it for a little bit before it comes so there is the placement of the person placement results summary and then there's the name Imura Abdel Moksi and school place Pongtamal Senior High School. So that is where the person has placed it, eh? which is uh, his uh, third choice, and that's nice. So the next thing that you have to do is to print the thing for the person. So you just have to click print pl uh, placement slip. So first of all, you have to print the, pla the, the, the placement slip, and then you go over and, and print the what the enrollment uh, form to. So that is what you will have over there. So you just have the for me, I don't have a printer, so I'm just going to save it just like that. Yes, I'm just going to click save so that it can save on my what on my desktop. And the next thing again I'm going to do is to print the enrollment form, which which is this. 
yes just like that it's very simple it doesn't need more stress it's just a simple way of doing that and then you click save yes so let's just wait for you to, to, to do what to save on my desktop and that's the what we have to do again that's it and that ends the problem so you have just finished checking the placement of that person like that the next thing you have to do is to log out and this particular uh, this thing this particular code can only use five times one two three four five after five times that particular code is just going to be to to expire so you can only use a uh, one index number for one e voucher card uh, e voucher, uh, 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 card so you can use more or uh, uh, this more index number for one you can do that you get that yes and only one index number you can only use it for five times and then, then after the five times you can use it again thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day bye bye <laughs>